Now then, quite a few of you have asked me to try this thing, and I spy said roll on the bolty. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to roll this over my tongue and see what it's like. So it's cooked, marinated chunks of chicken breast in a mildly spiced tikka masala sauce with cooked basmati rice, a vegetable mix of grilled red pepper, red onion and spinach with sweetener. Bit of good news, it's microwave only for 7 minutes 30 seconds. So here it is my friend, straight out of the microwave. Comes with this nice tray and the lid says reusable container, perfect for meal prep, lunch and leftovers. Okay, let's get a little bit closer to this thing. Okay, so we get 350 grams of eat, the flour till, and these chicken breast pieces make up 36%. We get some nice chunky pieces. So let's open one up, see what they like inside. Looks all right, doesn't it? Decent strandage proving that it's not reshaped, rehashed muck. And the outside reminds me of an inquisitive cat looking at us with one ear. Let's check that mush factor. Well, the prongs went through that like my mom gets through cat food. And the back reminds me of a snail with no shell. Overall, I'd say it's looking pretty colorful with the red peppers and the spinach, there's some onions in there as well, and 18% basmati rice. You'll also be hit with 34.6 grams of protein, so I can't wait to get involved. Okay, I'm going straight for the breast. Right, here we go. Oh yeah, the breast is lovely. It's dead succulent, and you can taste the tikka coating on it. You can also pick up little flecks of coriander on there, which is a nice thing, because it's subtle, not pungent. Okay, let's try all the other stuff. Hey, that's pretty good. Mmm, you can taste the rice, surprisingly, that tiny bit of creaminess that you get from basmati rice sometimes. You can pick up the sweetness from the peppers, can't really taste the spinach, but you do get a little bit more of that coriander coming through. Also, the seasoning is pretty good as well. I mean, I could probably do the touch of salt on there, which is not surprising, um, but you don't require it on this dish. And I've got to say that that tikka sauce is quite warming, not in a hot, chilly way, soothing, maybe a better word. And it adds enough moisture to this whole dish. Really good, it doesn't taste dry at all. As I carried on playing through that thing, I realized it tasted like a fresher chicken tikka that you get, that you shove in the microwave. It's a bit like a Slimming World chicken tikka where you can taste the fresh herbs and spices. Mmm, made me feel quite good actually. Eight and a half out of 10 to last bite. Mmm. So my protein chicken tikka with rice. That is a nice thing. I like the fact that you've got twice the amount of chicken in there than you have rice. That's a really good thing. I know it's a bit of money, but you know what? You do actually feel quite healthy eating that over other chicken tikkas that I've had in the past. Anyway, thanks for coming. Till next time, get out of here. Now then, quite a few of you, few of you. Hmm. Let's check that some, ah, oh. oh dear me. It's absolutely, <sighs>